This man right here, his name is George Speck, but he's better known as George Crumb. His notable achievement is the finding of potato chips. Yes, these are the chips that we all know and love today. This new discovery in the culinary world is most like the chemical engineers of today trying to get the best flavors and ingredients for various foods. Born in 1822 in upstate New York, George Speck was the son of an African-American father and a Native American mother. In his early life, he worked as a guide in the Adirondack Mountains. And soon, he found his hidden talent for none other than cooking. George Crum was hired as a chef, even though he never attended college or any culinary school. Today as well, most people don't need any formal education to be a chef. However, most high-end or prestigious chefs often attend culinary schools. Sometime in the 1850s, George was later hired at Saratoga Springs in the kitchens at Moon Lakes Lodge. Hello, sir. Hello. Let me take your uh, what would you like to eat? I'll start off with some chips. Yeah, be ready in one sec for the for the gentleman over there. I'm not gonna lie, they were too thick and they were too soft. Go back and please make them over again. Yes, sir. Oh, how dare he! I must burn his chips to a crisp. Here you go, dear waiter. Bring him his chips. Ha <laughs> It's quite good chips. Uh -huh. Here are your chips. They better be good this time. Oh, the chips busted. What? You like them? Why would you yeah. like them, sir? I ruined them. I ruined the chips. No, I. I them they were crisp. They were so much better this way. Thank you so I much. Them to a um, crisp. With his new discovery of the potato chips, which at the time were called Saratoga chips, he was able to popularize them. Throughout his life, he never tried to claim or patent his discovery, and after George's death. His sister tried to take credit with another story. Hers was that she was cutting potatoes and she accidentally sliced one way too thin and it fell into the oil, which then Crumb tasted and he loved and he began selling it. Nobody truly knows which story is real. I personally think that the sister was just trying to get on the hype train and take credit for herself. It wasn't only Crumb's sister that was trying to discredit him. Other people found similar recipes in English cookbooks dating back to the early 1830s. And even if George Crumb may not have been the first person to ever make the potato chips, he was definitely the reason that they become popular and are as big as they are today. Anyways, after he made the Saratoga chips, they become very popular and people would even take up to 10 mile trips just to get a taste of them. He then left the Moon Lake Lodge where he made his own restaurant, Crumb's Place, where he served a basket of chips to every table. George Crumb never had any problems developing or making the potato chips, due to the discovery being a complete accident, and because of that, he never needed to develop any skills. Any actual notable skills, though, were either him being good at cooking and his culinary skills, and then his ability to be an entrepreneur or businessman, opening up his own restaurant. After George Crumb's retirement and later death, many people tried to take the idea of potato chips and make businesses off of it. One of the guys was the owner of the restaurant that George worked at, and he tried to box chips and sell them as takeout. Another guy named William Tappenden attempted to sell them at his local grocery store, and then many people followed after that. This one guy, his name might ring a bell, it's Herman Lays. He decided to bring the idea of potato chips to the south, and he was the first guy to make a successful brand off of it. Based off of his last name, Lays, you can probably tell that his company is Frito-Lays, which is currently worth $28.2 billion. Any job related to the potato chip industry, we can all thank George Crumb for. Because George Crumb never attempted to patent the chips, he was never acknowledged for it or awarded, and he got lost behind everybody else trying to claim it. Many awards today that are given to businesses or restaurants are either the most prestigious and the best restaurants or the most environmental friendly companies. So overall, the takeaway is that a black man made potato chips. Thank you for watching.